CNBC TV 18 Weekender. Welcome back. Here's still with CNBC TV 18 Weekender, and we're in conversation with Bart Chindal. Uh, Bart, we've spoken about uh, cement, US, uh, uh, your role in GSW. So let's talk about sports. Sure. I believe that's uh, a huge passion over and above just work. Uh, yeah. What's the vision for you? You know, you've had some very good success stories. Yes. Take us through football. Take us through the experience with Sakshi Malik. How's yeah. it been? No, so so you know, back in 2011, when uh, when we were, Dad and I were discussing, you know, how JSW can get involved in building the brand of the company, hmm. of the group, because when you look at steel, we compete with the Tatas, and that's a, that's probably the biggest brand in India today. Yeah. In cement, again, we compete with an Ultratech or an Ambuja or an ACC, again, a big Correct. brand. Um, and as a family, we're very passionate about sports. Uh, you know, I play squash, my father plays squash. Uh, my uncle Naveen Jindal, big polo player, he shot for India. You know, my 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 grandfather was very much into sports. So we've always been passionate. And every time the Olympics would come around or the yeah. Asian Games would come around, yeah. we all would go into hiding because it would be embarrassing how poor India would do. And again, like in Rio, yeah. two medals for a country of 1.2 billion people. Yeah. It, it's it's sad. It's just you know and. Like every other corporate who just complains at the time of the Olympics and that's what we were doing. We were just complaining, cribbing, hmm. saying that the government needs to do something and all that. And then not enough is being, not done, enough is being yeah. done. Then we decided that instead of actually blaming it on the government or blaming it on so and so or this or that, let us actually do something about it. Yeah. So at that point of time, um, you know, I was speaking to Mahesh Bhupati hmm. and Mahesh obviously multiple Grand Slam winner. He's yeah very passionate about India, very passionate about sports. So he said that the reason why Indian Olympic sports hmm. never really does well at any Olympic Games is because Indian athletes lack the adequate facilities, hmm. they lack the adequate coaching, yeah. and they also lack the adequate knowledge on sports science and nutrition. And the only way to actually start competing with the world is if we build a facility, hmm. which is a state-of-the-art facility. So in 2013, uh, you know, Firstly, Mustafa Ghaus um, joined JSW. He's, he was a Davis Cupper for India. He played. He won a bronze at the Asian Games in 2002. Mm. Um, and then Mustafa and I started visiting facilities all over the world. We studied the US model. We studied the UK model. We studied the Australian model. And realized that the only way Indian Olympic sport can grow mm. is if we build a facility. So we started building this facility. We're actually inaugurating the facility on the 26th of January okay. uh, yeah. next, year. next year. And uh, since 2012, we've been supporting close to 40 athletes across five disciplines, uh, boxing, wrestling, judo, yeah. track and field, and swimming. And to me, the proudest moment will be when we can hear Janagana Mana play at the Olympic Games. Oh, and wow. and uh, that is something that in 2020, uh, we're all gunning for at JSW Sports. Fingers crossed. Currently, I'm trying to talk to as many corporates as I can to raise funds for our sports institute. Okay. And uh, we've raised money from over 15 corporates already. Wow. Um, and uh, it's going well. I, I think I think uh, if, if this becomes a movement, if Corporate India realizes that let us help the government, let us help our athletes, and, and let us make this a, a real movement because there's nothing like sports yeah, that absolutely. unites a country like India. I've taken a target, uh, we had 12 athletes in hmm. Rio. Hmm. We're targeting 30 athletes in wow. Tokyo from, from our program. We had one medal in Rio, we're targeting five medals in uh, Tokyo. Five medals in Tokyo, five that's the target. In JSW, t so, and India should target 10. Start. We want to be 50% of whatever India gets. Okay, fine, now we go across at that. Perfect way to end the show, but uh, before we end, a very short uh, Rapid fire round. Sure. So I ask you a question, you know how it works. Yeah. You are not allowed to think at the first thing that comes to your mind. Uh, your business icon aside from Sajan Jindal? Ratan Tata. Okay. If you weren't uh, a part of JSW group, what would you be? An athlete. Uh, if you're an athlete, uh, what sport would you take? Football. Okay. Favorite actor? Ranveer Singh. Ranveer Singh. Favorite oldish actor in your dad's generation? Amitabh Bachchan. Okay. Uh, favorite movie and favorite uh, inspiration in a movie? Favorite movie, Shole. Okay. Uh, favorite inspiration in a movie? Serious? 
Three days probably. <laughs> okay. Uh, one uh, lesson that you will take from uh, your dad, one lesson that you'll take from Ratan Tata. Uh, one lesson from my dad would be to enjoy whatever you do. Don't ever come under pressure. Uh, love what you do. Hmm. Otherwise, don't do it. Uh, from Ratan Tata, invest wisely. Otherwise, don't invest. Okay, perfect way to end, Par. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you very much. And congratulations on uh, the Olympic win and the, even from a business perspective, things are looking strong and hopefully they should continue. Thank you Thanks very much. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Great talking to you. And, and you're perhaps one of the most uh, candid interviewees I have <laughs> met in recent times. Uh, so that is uh, Parth Jindal in a very candid interview on the road ahead, what lies ahead and his passion for GSW Sports, GSW Group as a whole. Thank you so much for watching this special show. CNBC TV 18 Weekender.